Hi, this is Rachel, and I wanted to um, talk about some notes I made about things that happen when you're a highly sensitive person or um, like psychic or INFJ or an empath. So one of the, these are th issues when encountering other people and sometimes it might sound simple like we should already know why should someone say something but the truth is that even if you know sometimes somebody says something or maybe in a different way where we can understand it better or you know um, have a different thought process so vulnerability you know a lot of people are raised not to be vulnerable Either because of their environment or because, you know, some kind of structure, some, some kind of structure the way the family is. Or if it's like military, they weren't raised or trained to be like that. So, you know, they don't know, they, vulnerability is not that available for them. Um, vulnerability in the way that, you know, um, it's a mask. So, they need to take off the mask and they're not willing to be vulnerable. They don't want you to see what's there. It's their comfort zone, a buffer. Uh, they like to follow rules and not be vulnerable to their feelings. They rather follow the rules and not be vulnerable to look like they're a rule breaker, a rebel, or, you know, unconventional. Envy is something you'll experience with a lot of people because they want to have the freedom to be expressive. Now, they might be in a position, they might have some kind of role or, you know, or before with the vulnerability, they may not have that readily available for some reason. Envy, they might not want you to be the one who's so expressive they might want you to be the one that's a loser or you to be the one that's ignorant or whatever it is um with envy you're a mirror that you're being your true self and you're a mirror that they're not being their true self and it's giving them a problem with authenticity. So they don't want you to be authentic. They have envy. And misunderstanding. They misunderstand your different reaction. Because a lot of people, the majority, would have a different reaction. Misunderstanding. Um, why you don't wear a poker face, you wear your heart on your sleeve. It's very easy to read your facial expressions and body language. Um, you might have intense ethics, strong beliefs that you stand by that they misunderstand. It might be a job where they're like, hey, you know, it's just salary or you get paid by the hour. You know, you shouldn't try so hard. They don't understand your ethics. You know, you might choose to, you know, make, wait for the right person in life instead of going out dating. You know, they're not going to understand it because, you know, it's a strong belief you stand by and that's not mainstream or what's trendy. Um... They don't understand your lack of detachment with your feelings. You know, they think that um, you should be able to detach yourself from how you feel. To be able to stand back and be like a second or third person. They don't understand why you don't have consideration for your image. That you don't care if people know how you feel. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, you could cry or laugh or get upset or happy um, at a time where they think that it would give you an image problem. Which means they think that people would judge you or that they're judging you. Um, 
They don't connect to your problem a lot of times. There's a misunderstanding because they want to make it about you. A lot of times they won't listen or they won't connect the problem to what you're saying. They usually want to put it in your behavior, how you act, and how sensitive you are to the situation. A lot of times um, they make it about something that you're not even trying to address. They get defensive. They put their guard up. You know, when you're being vulnerable or sensitive or, you know, intuitive, um, it makes them want to put a wall up. They don't want to be that close to that. They don't want it. They don't want that right now. They're not ready for it. They're not used to it. And they don't get exposed to it very often. So anyway, I hope that this helps people feel like they can relate with each other because these are things that I noticed um, in my journey. Thank you.